What is up guys? So today I have another video for you all and today I'm going to show you guys a leg workout mainly focusing on the quadriceps. I haven't done a quad workout in a while so I wanted to film this one for you guys and share it with you all. If you don't follow me already, definitely follow me on Instagram. It's just Addict Lulu. Whenever I'm not on my YouTube channel, you can find me on my Instagram posting stories, photos, or videos. So if you want to keep in touch with me when I'm not on my YouTube channel, then definitely follow me on over at my IG. And if you aren't subscribed already, definitely click that subscribe button. And if you already are subscribed, then click that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload new videos like this one. So I'm about to head to the gym right now. I am currently in Toronto visiting my boyfriend. So I'm going to be working out in my boyfriend's apartment gym. It is a little bit ghetto, but you know, it's got all the essential stuff that you would need to do like a basic workout. So yeah, I'm going to head down there right now and I got on my t-shirt. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this leg workout and let's just get started. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you a lower body workout specifically focusing on the quads. So the first exercise is dumbbell jumping squats. So I'm performing this one first just because I find with jumping squats, it activates my quads right away. And you can do this with just body weight or you can hold a dumbbell or a barbell. And basically, you just want to stand in a sumo stance and you want to lower down into a squat position, and then you want to jump up as high as you can. So the second exercise is stationary barbell lunges. So this is a little bit different from the typical barbell lunges that you normally see. So instead of holding the barbell on your shoulders, you're gonna place it underneath your body. The third exercise is leg extension on the machine. Every single leg workout that I do, I always have to use the leg extension machine. It's just so great at isolating and targeting just the quadriceps, and it gives me such an incredible burn in my quads. This is a must-do exercise if you're trying to target your quads. The fourth exercise is a close stance squat and a lunge combination. So your feet should be positioned in a very narrow stance, so they should technically be right next to each other. You're going to squat down, come back up, and then you're going to go into a reverse lunge, and then you're going to come back again, squat down, and then use the other leg and come down into reverse lunge. So for this exercise, one rep is considered a squat, a reverse lunge, a squat, and then a reverse lunge with the other leg. And I can only do about eight reps because it burns so much. And the final exercise in this leg workout is cable squats. So I like to perform cable squats just because it gives a different kind of resistance. Cable squats challenges my quads in a different way since that resistance is different than just performing like goblet squats or barbell squats. Whew, it's so hot and it's like September. It's not supposed to be this hot. It was like really cold one week and now it's like really hot and I'm like all sweaty. So yeah, I just finished my workout. I'm about to make a shake. And the protein that I always use is the Women's Best Fit Whey Protein. Ah, oh, the jug is so big. I can't even hold it in my hand. Women's Best Fit Whey Protein. This is in the flavor Unicorn, and it is a whey protein. They have different kinds on the Women's Best website. They have like casein. Actually, I think that's the only other protein type. Oh, they also have vegan protein as well. I like the Fit Whey Protein the best just because they have so many different flavors and the macros are really good. You get very little carb, very little fat, and a lot of protein. It's about like 25 grams of protein per scoop. Oh, it is so hot. I'm actually dying and sweating up a storm. Anyways, I don't do anything fancy with my protein shakes. Honestly, I just use water and one ice cube or two ice cubes. And then I blend it up and then I chug it. I just like to, you know, finish it up like right away. And generally I'll have a shake after every workout because you're trying to build that <laughs> muscle. If you're not getting enough daily protein intake, I highly recommend like supplementing with a shake. 
It's not necessary unless you're not consuming enough protein. So I will have the website for this protein powder linked down in the description box and you can also use the code LUCL and it'll give you 10% off your entire order on Women's Best. Done my shake, you know. 25 grams of protein straight to the legs. I am about to have a post-workout meal. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating. Um, I just made like a big pot of chili for the week so that I didn't have to, you know, cook every single night. It's actually so useful meal prepping like a bunch of the food so you don't have to cook it again. It's probably like the best like fitness working out, saving time kind of advice I can give you because a lot of people don't have the time to work out and you know to make more time you could make a big pot of food on the weekend and then as soon as you get home from work you can eat don't have to cook don't have to deal with all the mess of cooking food and cleaning up eat go to the gym and save so much time now that's how i make time in my schedule to go to the gym like five times a week six times a week i just make food on the weekend so i don't have to cook for the rest of the week Just heated my chili in the microwave, see? See how easy that was? I just scoop it, put it away, put it in the microwave, and I can just eat it right away. Also, for those that are wondering, I got kidney beans, black beans, lean ground turkey, and chickpeas mixed in with tomato sauce, and then I also got that brown rice at the bottom. Yeah, I love chili, it's so good. So yeah, that is my post-workout lunch meal. And I think Joel and I are going to go out for dinner tonight because it's one of my last days with him. So, yes, I'm going to shower and get ready for that. Actually, I'm going to do some stuff in between before I shower, so, yeah. So we're just about to go get something to eat and can't decide if I want to go to this Italian restaurant that's in the area that's super good. Like, it has so many reviews and I've been there a couple times and the food is amazing. Or this ghetto Asian restaurant that Joel picked. It's not ghetto. <laughs> the food looks ghetto, but like the restaurant looks nice. But it doesn't have as many reviews as the Italian restaurant that I want to go to. It's called Grazzi. It's so good. I already went there this week, so I'm like, is it okay to have really carb heavy stuff again? I want to start this like new food portion of my video where I go and try different restaurants and I show you guys the food and tell you guys what I think. Yeah, I might start doing that. Anyways, we're probably gonna decide while we're walking outside, so yeah. So we ended up going to the Asian restaurant and it's called Chi Dim Sum. And this is their menu. They have Canadian Chinese food, but they also have authentic Chinese food. So I got the general Tao chicken ball and then we split the Hagao and the chicken sui mai dim sum. So I first tried the hagao dim sum, which is filled with shrimp, and I liked it. It was good, except it wasn't any different from any other like shrimp dim sum I've had. There was nothing special to it. I then tried the chicken sui mai. I didn't like this one as much. It kind of had like this raw meat flavor, which I was not a fan of. I have tried these chicken sui mais at other places, and they were a lot better. Next, I had the General Tao chicken bao, which is similar to the Chinese hamburgers that I had in my last vlog at Gong Fu Bao. Just off looks alone. Yeah. It's 
good, but yeah, the dancing one's better. <laughs> and then our mains came, and I got the lancho beef ramen. It was really good. This is more of like an authentic Chinese noodle dish. And then Joel got the wonton soup, which is kind of like Canadian Chinese. I did like the noodle dish. It reminded me of my mom's cooking. Like it was very homey and authentic Chinese food. And they give you such a big bowl. I was so full afterwards. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this and give this a like if you did and follow me on over at my Instagram and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.